So let's talk about Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to your favorite company outside of Apple? Mm-hmm. Microsoft's sudden AI dominance is changing Silicon Valley's power structure. Yeah. What are two big lessons to take away from this and how can we apply it to the companies we invest in? So we know Microsoft has some ownership in chat GPT. Yeah, 49% I believe. So, so yeah, what's the deal? One, um, I want to make an index of CEOs that are silent, that are making more than two, three hundred million dollars a year. Because I think there's a higher return on investment amongst the CEOs that are quiet versus the ones that are impressed on Twitter, on social media all the time. Meanwhile, when Apple was stole the consumer landscape by a landslide, they changed the face of Silicon Valley over the last five years by like arguably chat GPT and open AI is the most important company since the probably the internet. And they own 49% of it. That's what, even in 2020, I'm like, the companies with the biggest bag are going to wait with capital on the side and wait to deploy it to the right thing. And this is the greatest grab of all time. Like, if you can combine Kareem, Jordan, LeBron into one player, Chat GPT is that. Yeah, we got to put, maybe we put out a top five acquisitions. Of all, like, a steal. And meanwhile, no one was upset. Bernie Sanders did not get upset and say, hey, let's take them to Congress and say that, like, how are they trying to block the Activision deal, but they let this deal go through? You worried about some damn games and they (laughs) stole the next internet engine? Great. Go ahead, Black Activision. Let me have this part of the digital world. Now, everyone who's raising capital, you're trying to raise more capital to compete against the thing that Microsoft owns and the CEO is being completely quiet. Here's Here's a question. So this is true because it did happen kind of quietly. Yes. Nobody was up in arms. How much of it do you think was because of a lack of awareness of what AI actually is from the people in government? Nah, they know. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Go you gotta understand. Like, I, I'm, they, I'm, they, I wanna, the gov- I'm the government gets briefed. Like they have. There's a reason why. There's a reason why all those senators sold their stocks two months before Corona went crazy. They get briefings, briefings. that general public are not privy to mm-hmm. so they've been educated on artificial intelligence for years Eons ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they're 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 extremely aware of artificial intelligence they know a lot more about artificial intelligence than we know they probably know a lot more than even a lot of business heads know so definitely they're they're educated on it yeah, one thousand I, I think most people didn't think that this company and this product would be this powerful because everyone had AI iterations in 2016. Even when uh, like 3D printing became like a big thing, there were some talks of using 3D printing with AI. Matterport has like mapped out all the landscapes of hotels and buildings and stuff like that. And there was supposed to be some AI push there. And most of the AI projects floundered or flopped. And then Phoenix came rising and they grabbed the right one. And I think it's the steal of the year. And, and number two, the point behind that is like to stay extremely focused on to the next thing that is going to have the greatest impact on the world. All right. I I, I mean, it's it kind of a rhetorical question. I know you guys are going to say that, but here's here's the follow up to it. On top of awareness mm-hmm. is understanding use case. Yep. Right. So, do you think they understood the level of use case? Because you government. figure at well, government politicians, yeah. you figure after they signed a deal with Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Then they get called, right? So you look at the, the CEO of opening eye, now he's having a congressional hearing. That hadn't happened six months, 12 months yeah, prior to that moment. Happened. Right? So I, I'm looking at the timing of the two. Once they realize, okay, we understand what it is, and like you said, they do get briefed, but how often are they paying attention to everything? I mean, you get briefed on a lot of things, yeah. right? But you may not understand the severity or the, the level of importance, and maybe they do when it's... When I don't think to anyone you. knew how important it was, probably with the exception of Sam... And probably Elon. But I don't know because, like I said, I come on, let's talk. Like I said, to, I, I'm like I said, I want opinions on this. Once I said, once I started using it, that's why I said two weeks ago. I said this thing is big. Yeah, yeah it's going to change the world. Please use it. And when we was in Davos, Davos yeah. nobody was talking about crypto. Everybody was talking about Chat GBT, and yeah. every everybody was talking about artificial intelligence. They were talking about having um, artificial intelligence on a board um, of a corporation. Mm-hmm. Every single person was talking about artificial intelligence. Yeah. These are the leaders of the free world. These are the most powerful people in the world. 
So I think that they might not have known that chat GBT, because like you said, there's a lot of different artificial yeah. intelligence. Even now, there's a lot of different art. Yeah. It's like a lot of social media apps. Nobody knew when Facebook brought Instagram for a billion dollars. No one knew. They, they were like, it, it, it had no, it oh, had, absolutely. It had no, absolutely. it had no revenue. People thought it was a bad idea. When um, Google brought YouTube mm -hmm. for how that much? 800 million, something like that? that was, it was 1.2, maybe. maybe 1.7 billion, yeah, something like that. Okay. But whatever they I got mean, it forget for. Forget about what it's worth nobody, now. Nobody had the foresight, because it would have been a bidding war. Like, if yeah. people knew the value of Instagram, Facebook wouldn't have gotten it for a billion. Right. So, but they still understood social media. They just didn't know like that was going to be the one product. I, so I guess that's what I'm saying. I think right? everybody understands the power of artificial intelligence. They might not have known that chat GBT was going to just, you know, revolutionize the whole thing. That's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to predict that. Yeah. Like, it's like, we know that basketball is here to stay. Yeah. We might not know that Giannis is going to be who he is. Yeah. We didn't know Steph Curry or he would have been the number one draft pick. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. right? Like, I'm aware of it, but I don't. I didn't. I'm not aware of the use cases. Yeah, I don't think the any actual of capabilities. I didn't. We're not looking like, oh, a chat GPT can do this. Oh, I mean, now, Sam Oman, you need to come sit in front of us and explain well, this. Even to if us. it, because there's a lot of things. Chat GPT is probably not even the most efficient app. There's probably apps that actually work better. Mm -hmm. It's not always about the best. Sometimes it's marketing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just awareness. It just catches up. It's like, it's a variety of different things that happen in business to make something popular. Yeah. Not always the best talent doesn't always, you know what I'm saying? I like, mean. so I don't know what made Chat GPT hit its stride. Um, it's I think it was a combination of a variety of different yeah, things, yeah. but. Like going back I, to I the think, I think the big thing that hits the stride is Microsoft's acquisition. I, that, before, but before Microsoft, before that, had, yeah, had a buzz. After it's like yeah. Drake, like it's like Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent had a buzz in the yeah. street before he signed, and, 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 and now they just put him on steroids. But yeah. he was already bubbling in the yeah. street. Like Chad GBT was already an underground. I mean, right. I mean but, th think of it like this. Right. I, I love Sam. Like, let's talk about Sam's history. Another quiet killer. Elon provides some funding to it. So you have another great CEO there. Their board is early, from, early, early, early on. So he saw it. Yes. Right. Now, Sam is responsible in part for allowing startups to get funding. He's seeing all the best ideas in the world. Mm -hmm. Chad GPT kind of became an amalgamation, a best of those. So now you have the, some of the best entrepreneurs funding being behind it. And then you're skating to what is next. The, the next breakthrough was, okay, we have tools to do the task, but we don't have a tool to do the task for us. Mm -hmm. That's clearly like with DoorDash and all the delivery systems, we're trying to get closer to that Jetsons thing. They're the first <laughs> company to actually do it. But yeah, the, the insight, like if I got a chance to see four or 500,000 traders make mistakes, it would give me an edge in the market. He got a chance to see all the biggest mistakes and big, biggest successes of the last 10, 15 years and say, this is the gap that is missing. Yeah. Let me fill it. And the key was well, well, no one's going to get the technology to work. And guess what? They got the technology to work. And, and they, now it's like everybody in the world has to adjust. And now they have funding. Yes. Now, the biggest funding of all time. Even let's, let's look at Expedia. If we say we want to go from here to New York, we may have a conversation back and forth with us, AB. Imagine if we can just go on Expedia and say, hey, and they book everything for us with the most, with the shortest flights, best stay, best travel. How much more will we be on that site? That's what they're literally doing now. Mm -hmm. And my thing is like going back to Meta, Facebook they stole Instagram for a billion. If ChatGPT continues on this ride and they don't have any misses over the next four years and we haven't even got into acquisitions, they could be four or five times bigger than Meta. Yeah. That's scary to think who, about. Who could be bigger than Meta? Uh, OpenAI. In what regard? In terms of market cap. I'm just saying how, like what, what's because, because with social media, um, like great acquisition and that, like Mark Zuckerberg right now, same with Eli focus is ever like, I'm in a little broadcast channel. Return, he, got yeah. return. he is cooking a return. But if we're automating all these tasks, imagine if they made a chat GPT on the enterprise side, just for software, just for healthcare, for automotive. And they have all these derivatives. Now you have to pay a license for them. And what if they get an override on some of the productivity increases? Like, there's a lot that they can do to end up being the most dominant company 
of this generation, and I said at InvestFest last year, like there's usually one company that dominates a generation. This probably will be it. And Microsoft was in early, like, hey, bro. Yeah, you work yeah. with us. Yeah, I just, it doesn't have any sector exclusivity. At all. And they have the funding. Like, if you make a competitor to them right now, where are you going to get the funding for the, from the chips? Your only alternative for Google now has BART. Acquire you. And because of Congress not allowing any companies to have any really big acquisitions, all the big players now have to build that thing inside of their own company. Mm -hmm. So if you build a company up in four or five years, they can't buy you out for $50 billion anymore. It's going to take time. I look yeah. at ChatGPT as more comparable to Google than Meta because Meta is a, a social app, whether it's Facebook or whether it's mm -hmm. Instagram, where people communicate with each other and marketers go on and sell products with things they But like, you know how Google is pretty much in everything. Like, yeah. it's in your phone. Yeah, I'm least, just comparing like, the speed of growth, not the speed. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like that ChatGPT is going to be, like, integrated in a variety of different things. Like, it's integrated in, in the Mercedes-Benz. It'll be integrated in cars soon. Yeah. It'll be integrated probably in everybody's phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. some, like, it's an optional app at this point, but now pretty soon it'll be just, like, part yeah. of your actual yeah, it be yeah, phone. Be in your home. It'll be yeah. um, implemented in, you know, the healthcare system. And yeah. So it'll just it'll just be infused yeah. with day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. It'll be interesting to see how, how Microsoft as a company um, and it'll see, you know, like I said, there are competitors, Bart. Bart is um, So we'll see if, you know, MySpace didn't last. So just first to market. Todd got away with a win, though. Yeah, for, yeah, sure. yeah, Todd, yeah, Todd, yeah. Legend. Yeah. Todd Legend. Yeah. Did Where's he at? Where's Todd? That's what I'm saying. Did anybody ever find him? Leisure has been earned. <laughs> you on his leisure? Todd Boy. Legend. Yeah. Todd Legend. Oh, we, the the chat GBT thing is, is interesting. I saw somebody, I think it might have been on like Good Morning America or something. And it was like uh, create a recipe with chat GBT. Yeah. And it, you just, they were like, uh, take the things out of my cabinet. And they just said it. And it became like four different recipes mm -hmm. from the things that you just randomly put. Yeah. So like, think about what that does when you're in your home. Like, yo, you're in your car. Difference. Tell them, like, yo, this is what I got. By the time you get to the crib, yeah. these are the things you can make with it. It's so in a fantasy football world where <laughs> this is this is just a hypothetical question. Yeah, that's a great question. How, how much can Microsoft really benefit? Let's say ChatGPT goes crazy and mm -hmm. becomes... As big as Google and like does it in a, in an alternative reality, does this have an opportunity to make Microsoft bigger than Apple? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially if Tim, when he eventually retires, because I think he'll do glasses. Because even like the vision is an extension of Steve Jobs' iPhone vision. He talked about it at the 2007 conference with Walter Isaacson, I believe. Um you guys can but well, he was in a red chair when him and Gates had that, that conversation. Um, but so I think Tim, if he does something in car and, and healthcare, he'll probably ride off into the sunset in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. But as a result, this could, and honestly, Microsoft is just really taking back the pole position it should have had from all the years that Barmer messed up. There would be no Apple and all, like when people are like, oh, you're biased. I'm like, no. Historically, from the time I was, uh, my grandmother got rest of soul, my grandma Rose had an Apple II. Like 1994, I was writing all Johnny Blaze Method Man lyrics from Tikal in that computer, right? Tikal. And then after that, I was all Windows. I think, for me, I always liked Windows a lot more, so I'm not biased, but Balmer almost destroyed that company. You had 10 years of no growth and no innovation. So now with a better CEO, they're really just kept catching up to where like, imagine if Satya had been the CEO since Gates left in, in 2000. Where would they be? There would be no Apple. It'll be over with. So, but invest in the top two, Apple <laughs> and Microsoft. VOO and VTI on the Vanguard side for the indexes. But, yeah, this this can definitely have a huge And it saves Microsoft's next 10, 15-year plan. All right. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> A mic drop. <laughs> Bag drop. Bag drop.